the start of all the other insecurities about things I can't change. I remember what made me insecure and you know, trying to be that beautiful bride everyone expects you to be. I was very insecure to be without makeup with my friends. It's more about accepting that you have such insecurities and loving yourself anyway. Hello, hello. It has been a while. If you didn't know already, um, I got engaged last September and then I'm having my wedding this year. Actually, at this point, it's about slightly more than two months away. So that's pretty crazy to think about. As you can see from the title of the video, I am gonna talk through some insecurities I have about my physical appearance today. Um, as you can see, I do have a full face of makeup on. I actually went for my wedding makeup trial today. So we did like full face makeup and also hair, but I kind of took it all apart already. So it kind of looks a mess. I did have uh, false lashes on at first, but I kind of took them out because they were bothering me. It's been a while. Um, it's now past 11 p.m. I'm about to, you know, go remove my makeup, shower, and like get ready for bed. But I'm just gonna film that whole process and at the same time maybe talk you through certain insecurities I have and what were my concerns going into uh, just trying to be the most beautiful bride I can be for my wedding day. There's a lot of stress and anxiety around this whole like big moment in your life, like once in a lifetime, that wedding and you know trying to be that beautiful bride everyone expects you to be. And okay, also personally, I'm building it up a lot in my head as well as I'm going through this whole planning process. So yeah, I hope whatever I'm sharing today resonates with whoever who's watching. I hope you feel less alone if you are also someone who feels very insecure or very self-conscious about their appearance. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. <laughs> when I was in either sec 1 or sec 2, we had this like elective class or something and um, we went through a bunch of classes where they teach you how to dress better like based on your body shape or like based on your face shape like what kind of hairstyles like you should have blah 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 and I feel like that was the first time that I noticed what my body actually looked like to other people and I'm not saying those lessons were bad, I think it's very informative but at the same time I feel maybe it was a tad early because I don't think I developed insecurities about my appearance or my body until like after that. So firstly, my biggest insecurity would be um, just the shape of my face. I do have a very round face. Um, as you can see, I just have a very tiny forehead and yeah, just based on the whole proportion and if you google just how to tell what kind of face you have, I do have a round face. I remember what made me insecure. Apparently, so in that class, we talked about, you know, how to identify your face shape and all that. And then the teacher or the instructor was saying that, oh, so, you know, actually the most flattering face shape is the oval face shape because uh, you can just, it's very versatile, you can do a lot of different um, hairstyles and all that and they'll all be flattering. I just remember like looking at my face and then, oh, I'm not oval face and I just felt very sad about it, like very disappointed, I guess, it's more accurate. And then I just, you know, there were just a bunch of pre other pretty girls in the class which I always already felt like oh, they are, you know, they're so pretty, they're prettier than me, that kind of thing. I'll never look like them. And then when I look at them and I see, I look at their face shape and I realize like, oh, they do have the oval face. So I'm like, okay, that makes so much more sense now that I don't look as nice as them because, you know, and like face shape is not really something you can change. So it was just like the start of all the other insecurities about things I can't change. But yeah, so my biggest insecurity would be my round face. It might not look that round right now because I do have a lot of like contour on my face. So it might just have an illusion of more angles. But uh, I think when I used to be slightly thinner, like maybe from school days, um, my jawline was probably a lot more defined. So it Clearly, it's not now that I've gained weight over the years, but 
um, anyway, gaining weight as you're getting older is also very normal. Then another insecurity I have is my hair. I do have pretty thin hair, um, so I don't have a lot of it and it's also really flat. Um, but at the same time, I do like long hair. Okay, or at, at least it's not like a bob kind of short hair. Ideally, I like my hair around like slightly below the shoulder. It feels lighter and I can give it more bounce or volume, you know, if I just kind of play around with it a little easily. Um, but yeah, those are my two biggest insecurities. So going to wedding prep, that was just my main concerns, like how can I make my face not so round. So I think the whole plan going to my makeup trial was trying to elongate um, this elongate the shape of my face so it's probably like contouring more on the sides making all the features a little more defined um, yeah and then for hair I was thinking either like a top bun if I want to do an updo and then if not I just kind of want to leave everything down but we probably have to use a lot of hairspray and like back combing to create more volume at the top of my head so yeah those were kind of my insecurities going into this and I'm just very jealous of people who have very thick hair and I know people with very thick hair will be like oh so much hair it's so hard to maintain but yeah then again it's always you know grass is greener on the other side type of vibe um, Now in the bathroom, I'm about to take my makeup off. Um, okay, so maybe besides insecurities, I can talk about what I really like about my face. Um, I actually quite like it when my jawline is more defined, which is then a struggle because it will be more defined if my face was thinner. So, but I'm not gonna lose weight just for the sole intention of looking better at the wedding. I think it's kind of toxic. Um, but in general, I would like to be healthier and if being thinner is you know, a happy side effect, I, I'm okay with it. Okay, and another thing I really like are my eyes. Um, yeah, I just think I have very pretty eyes and you can feel free to agree or disagree. It doesn't matter to me. And for brows, I actually do have pretty thick brows which I'm very thankful for. Um, I got that from my mom. Me and my sisters all have really defined brows and I kind of, it kind of ends here actually, my natural brows. So I really like to kind of extend it a bit when I do draw my brows. So that's what um, I requested for as well with the makeup artist. So that's what we did. Um, yeah. Another insecurity I have, which I think maybe a lot of other people would be like other Asian people would relate to is my flat nose. Um, yeah, in general, my nose is just not very defined. Um, I have a pretty short or like low nose bridge, so I always really envy people. Um, who have very defined like sharp noses and I feel because I don't have um, because I don't have a high nose bridge my bridge my nose is yeah it's just a like a Asian button nose quite typical but because of that I I just wanted the contour of the nose to be a bit like um, narrower just to give the illusion of a thinner nose or like a higher nose bridge so that's what i requested for another thing i'm insecure about is actually my acne problem so i i do have like a recurring acne problem it's probably a bit hormonal but also the fact that i have quite sensitive skin so when i'm wearing the mask outdoors and like we're sweating and all that i do have the tendency to get um like have mini breakouts after um yeah so 
it makes me very insecure especially I think it was really bad last time when um, I was very insecure to be without makeup with my friends so even if I would be um, say going on a staycation with friends or like overseas with friends I'm very self-conscious when I have to you know remove all my makeup at the end of the day and you know prepare for bed like I feel very very self-conscious but so how I kind of justify that to myself is that you know when I think about my friends when I think about my loved ones I don't remember them for like where their pimples are or like where they had the biggest like spot or scar on their face I remember them for you know the stories they tell me how they make me laugh the memories we share together it's not about the physical appearance you know and so you know I feel if I don't judge like my closest friends or family in that manner I shouldn't be judging myself that way either so yeah cleaned my face I think you can see like my natural like state of my skin a lot better so like I mentioned like the acne these are not these are kind of scarring from previous pimples but I really yeah at any point in time I always have some sort of pimple or like scarring on my face this side is actually okay I kind of have that concentrated on one side I'm not very sure why um, it's, and it's not my sleeping position because I changed it up quite frequently so I'm not yeah anyway if I knew it would have been solved but yeah so like as you can see these are just kind of the spots I deal with oh and another thing I really like I about my about my physical appearance I forgot to say I like my eyelashes my eyelashes are really long actually just like simple curling of the lashes and adding mascara already looks very flattering for me it's really look quite obvious so I don't have to do very much so false lashes kind of just adds an extra oomph um, but yeah I feel like even without I probably am okay it's just you know for the purpose of photo taking and all that you know like if you're going for blush or like contour is to be very saturated so it really pops for the photo because on photo it really looks very normal like when I was checking out my makeup look on my phone you know for selfies and all that so can confirm that uh you really need very thick makeup if you want it to pop in photos okay now i am all showered i this is when i start my skincare routine um i think i've kind of shed all my major insecurities I mean, other ones would be pretty basic, like, you know, when you wear a sleeveless dress or a sleeveless anything, you don't want your arms to look too fat or, you know, that little, like, armpit fat, you don't want that to be reviewed as well. Yeah, oh, another thing is my face is really lopsided. <laughs> I don't know whether it was something that uh, I probably was already born kind of lopsided and then with time you know apparently like if you always sleep on one side or i don't know if you just do things and your head is kind of on its side that affects like how your i don't know like gravity pull or anyway my lopsided face is also something i'm very self-conscious about so you know how like when you look at yourself in the mirror or when you are on your selfie mode on your phone is a mirror image of yourself and then that's just how you view yourself and that's very different from how everyone else around you sees you so you know how like if you are taking a selfie on your camera on your phone like i think i look nice in this angle and then i snap the picture when i look back at the picture after because obviously it flips like after i press the shutter i look at it and i'm like oh that didn't look like how i intended for it to look or it didn't look that nice like it didn't look like how i thought it looked when i pressed the shutter so i feel like it um it is a greater problem when 
your face is not symmetrical. But anyway, I just wanted to say, I feel like everyone has insecurities about themselves. I think it's a matter of whether they are aware of it or not, or like whether they are aware that they are projecting it or not, you know. So for me, I feel like I am very, I am extremely self-aware with um, my various insecurities. It's okay. It's very normal. Everyone has insecurities. I, I swear, like, even the most beautiful person in the world, you know, in anyone's opinion, would have insecurities about their physical appearance. And that's fine. I feel like it would be really unrealistic to, to want to get rid of all insecurities. Um, I think it's more about the... It's more about accepting that you have such insecurities and loving yourself anyway. Yeah, I don't want to trick myself into thinking that I can fix something and then it'll be all better when I reach that certain goal. I think that's kind of toxic. Uh, I want to be okay with it, you know? Like, I want to embrace that I have a round face and then work around it. Uh, I've and I've had this conversation before with Rochelle because you know she has um uh, she doesn't have the standard like V shape like oval face that all Asians love, but she has more of a squarish jaw and that's one of her insecurities as well. And I'm always telling her like, I love your squarish jaw. Like it looks so good in photos. It looks really high fashion. So. Yeah, and, and you know, as a photographer, as, as someone who always looks at her face and like edits pictures of her, I'm a fan of it. And I think it just goes to show that there are so many different uh, aspects to beauty and everyone is unique. So I just feel like I'm rambling on at this point, but insecurities are normal. I think just be very honest with yourself about your insecurities and how you view yourself and just be very mindful to be to stay kind to yourself don't use any like mean words to describe yourself uh, embrace all your insecurities embrace them like how you would embrace um, the flaws or the weaknesses of your loved ones so yeah I think that's all I have to say. Um, it's very fitting that we're ending this video in this like ready for bed state. But yeah, I hope you related to even just one thing I said in this video. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye!